Hey, it's Miles Walker here at Parhelion Recording Studios, and today we're going to be looking at the Apogee Quartet. The Quartet is one of the newest interfaces from Apogee. It's a really fantastic four channel, six output interface, as well as some cool optical connectivity that you can use as uh, your mic preamp, your interface into your DAW, whatever that is, and your monitor section for being able to listen to all your speakers and headphone assortments you may have. For input connectivity, you have four analog in combo jacks, six out, all quarter inch balanced. Additional optical I.O. if you have another legacy Apogee interface. Um, the MIDI input for a controller right there on the back, as well as the USB connectivity to your iOS or your main DAW. There's also some really cool software features in the mic section uh, within the Maestro software that runs with it where you can do mic gain groupings. You can group all the mic pre's and move them up and down in, in perfect unison, which is really great because if you had four separate mic pre's, you might have to fidget a little on each one and then your balances have gotten slightly off. So it can be very helpful for coming up with a sound very quick and grouping them up and down. In addition to the fact that the quality is just great. It includes the soft limiter, which is probably one of the very first things that drew me to the Apogee converters. The soft limit is basically a digital software limiter that will be, you can turn off or on, on each channel of conversion. And it can be a safe catch for if you're recording something like vocals where you have a great signal and then just maybe one quick little loud peak that would normally throw you over into distortion, the soft limit can catch right there, takes care of all the work for you. When I first started thinking about the iOS connectivity with the Quartet and other products that Apogee has coming out, I was like, oh cool, what a great gimmick, you know, this is fun and it's something kind of different and quirky to do. But then I really thought about it and I was like, there's a lot of practical applications for this. Um, with the small footprint of the Quartet and how easy it is to carry around and the small footprint of an iPad, iPad mini or the right full-size iPads, you now have a fully mobile rig. With the iOS being relatively new, all kinds of third-party app developers are working on fantastic software right now that integrates virtual synths and other ways to make music and now to be able to record them with real acoustical signals like a voice or any kind of live performance right onto your iPad or iOS device like an iPhone is just phenomenal. So one of the DAWs that I was looking at because you know being a Pro Tools guy I like a multifunctional multi-track DAW is one from Wave Labs called Aria. So let's take a look at it. Here's Aria right here. Aria automatically remembers the last session that you pulled up. And like I said, it's a multi-track DAW. Uh, this particular session, we have six tracks. I went ahead and imported some, a little simple drum groove, which let's go ahead and give that a listen right now. So you can see it playing right, right from over here. And all of the connectivity of the quartet from the master volume to the input of anything attached to it. In this case, input one is our microphone that we'll be talking to and recording into in just a minute. Shows right up. You have all the regular connectivity and talking about ease of use, I didn't do a single thing when this plugged in other than attach this cable. It totally knew I wanted to use the quartet as my interface. It totally knew that this, rather, was gonna be my master volume control and then all the other regular features are just the same, such as the mic input levels, mutes, and all the other functions that come right with it. We're gonna be able to listen to the lapel audio as well as the sound of the microphone preamp recorded through this. I guess it's not a 100% fair shootout because it's an 87 versus a lapel mic, but what I'm really choosing to highlight is the great quality mic preamp and you can tell that it's just really fantastic, super clean, super quiet, no noise in the preamp itself. The main thing I really like about the Quartet is not only is it a great four channel converter, which is probably enough for most people who have a small studio who are doing vocals, maybe a couple keyboards and simple overdub stuff, that's plenty of input. The thing that's great about it is physically built in, all in one, it's also a monitor section, which for people that don't have a mixing console, that can be a way you control your volume, listen to multiple speakers and sources all at one time, all in like the same handy box, 
really nice small footprint. Totally could be portable, but also solid and robust enough to be a permanent fixture in somebody's studio. But to me, audio recording equipment is like, why are you gonna spend $20 million on a submarine and cheap out on the latch? If you're not listening to your audio in the best possible source, and that's your conversion on the way in and on the way out as you hear it, you know, what are you doing? If you spend $10,000 on your software and your track and your mix, and it's so important, if you can't hear it at the absolute proper clarity that it's working at, you're missing the point. Hey, so thanks for hanging out with me and checking out the quartet. If you have any questions about all the Apogee products, you should check out uniquesquared.com.